there war gamers and welcome to another video of the german destroyer tech tree line this one for the tier 9 heavy destroyer felix schultz so let's take a quick look at the equipment setup and the captain skills and then we can jump straight into the battle okay we can take a quick look at the lineups here really from the perspective of sailing in felix schultz in my hands at least it doesn't matter what the lineup is because Felix Schultz will be outspotted by virtually everybody and Felix Schultz cannot win a gunfight against any DD that I've come across, at least when I'm handling it. As per usual, I'm not going to be referring to stats for the ship. I'll be describing my feel of what it's like to sail in Felix Schultz. What I can say is it's incredibly difficult to manoeuvre. The rudder shift is slow. Uh, it, although it has a decent speed, it doesn't feel like it, you don't get that impression. Now, you'll see in this battle, and I've selected this battle for a particular reason, that it demonstrates all the points I want to make about the shorts. Now, as we approach the cap, bearing in mind what I've mentioned already about the poor manoeuvrability, the large turning circles, so you're always very vulnerable to torpedoes, uh, because you can't dodge them once you've seen them. And uh, the high concealment, that this thing has it it's not a capping dd and in fact it's more the size of a cruiser so what i'll look to do here initially is actually provide some visibility for my team you know to give, give them some spotting sometimes that's going to be the fact that you've been spotted without you actually spotting enemy ships i'm trying to be cautious here about the arrival of any torpedoes you know, that guys have launched preemptively um, not seeing any at the moment, so let's sneak forward a bit and see if we can see anybody for our team. Provide some spot in there. You can see that somebody is starting to cap A, so there is somebody in there. Now, positioning bowing or sterning is difficult in the shorts because of its strange turret arrangement. That middle turret gives you extreme difficulty in that case. And here we go. So we got two destroyers in there at the moment. So let's get some shots off for our team, but navigate around to a kite now position. As I said before, Felix Shaws cannot enter a gunfight with one DD, let alone two. So um, it's time to get, get the heck out of here. It seems like anybody that shoots at the shorts hits it and they either start a fire or break something. I can't do anything in the shorts to contest the cap at A unless I have good support from my team. And looking at the minimap, it looks like that's not present. So uh, where can I be useful? I'll take a look at B and it looks like the Shima could do with some assistance over there. We've lost one cap. Let's see if we can take another one. Meanwhile, the other half of our team is trying to cap at C, so if we can take B, we'll be a cap up. Okay, our Shima is taking down the enemy turpits. Uh, that's a good start. Oh, but at the same time, we lose our Tashkent in C to the enemy Minotaur. I was just looking to see if I could chip away damage at someone before transitioning across the B. But um, looking more north from my position at the moment, I wonder where is that whammy going? Never mind though, let's just get across the B and give Shima a hand. Shima Torps are looking good at the moment, but if that's the case, Shima's absolutely on fire in this battle. And there you go, take that. Stay away from our cat, please. Let's see if I can chip away a bit myself. Yeah. 
there you go. I get the credit for sinking the ship, but uh, it's thanks to Shima's Torps and the fire started by our Des Moines. So we have one cap each now, and we're just in front on points. Let's see if I can go and get a hand at sea now. As we transition over to sea, I'll mention that Schultz does have two racks of torpedoes, but they are incredibly glacially slow. I found that rather than actually trying to hit a ship, you're better off just launching them continuously at potential high traffic areas. You can see an angry looking smoke screen in the middle of the cap there. Um, I'm not sure whose it is, but we do have our battleship on the northern edge of that sea cap and he doesn't seem too concerned, so I'm not thinking it's the enemy destroyer. Since I'm not expecting to encounter the destroyer, I'm going to maintain the AP as my main armament for the moment. Let's swing the guns to my starboard side. Bearing in mind you need to give near enough a full broadside to be able to use all three guns. Now, what Schultz is good at is very situational, and this is it. If you can catch a, a light cruiser broadside. Let's give him one more go here. Look, I thought he was moving faster than he was. There you go, one shot kill. Half health in the broadside cruiser against Felix Schultz will not save you. So it looks like Minotaur wants to give it a go as well. So we'll pump away some preemptive torps, have the AP ready again, and here he comes broadside. So let's see what we can do here. And, oh, just not quite enough, but DM finishes it. I did just repair before the Minotaur came up, but hopefully you notice that the single shot from the Harbin broke everything on the shorts and started a fire. So as a team, we're still in contention at A, although we just had another ship go down. We have B cap, I, I want to finish C cap, and if my torps can load in time, let's see if I can get something away on the Amagi here. We also have an enemy destroyer spotted away to the north, presumably in that uh, angry looking smoke cloud up there. You've seen me actually take two cap circles now, but this is Schultz's element when there's nobody there to contest it. But while we get some shots away to uh, help to chip away at the Amagi, I, I just mentioned that we did have um, a contest at sea, but they were light cruisers broadside on. Now, Schultz can do well in that situation, but against destroyers no the situation's not the same here comes the enemy dd now so you'll see the difference here but i'm using ap probably should switch to high explosive at the moment but i just want to keep getting the shots away and i'm held by the fact that he's taken that torpedo so can we finish him off Thankfully, Des Moines gets the kill, but you see, the shorts not so effective against DDs. And broken motor, broken steering, as per usual. Everything breaks when shorts is hit. And that's a lot of the reason why shorts is no good in a destroyer versus destroyer gunfight. <laughs> A 
okay we're a cap up and we have an even ship count at the moment and pretty similar scores so we really need to get to B and defend our advantage there So good lad, um, Des Moines on, on his way to help defend B. Um, Iwami doing his usual uh, Arctic protection job, um, patrolling the north of the map. I'm actually a little surprised at this point not to see the enemy already contesting B, but I'm sure they'll be there soon enough. Look at a whammy heading north again. What's she thinking there, Popeye? So what should be a 3v3 defending B looks like it's going to end up being a 2v3. I think that Whammy seems to have confidence that he can wait for the carry. So the enemy ships look a good way off, but we still have eight minutes to go. I've got the preemptive torpors away, but look how slow they are. Holding my position here, hoping to provide some spotting on this northern side of the B cap. Here comes the enemy Azumo. This is one of these Hail Mary fingers crossed moments where hoping the enemy destroyer gets caught out by them torpedoes. little concern here by the Zhao creeping up on that southern side and I'm detected now so where is the enemy destroyer because it's not the Azumos there, there she is can I get a shot away there uh, just the one so first shot from the enemy destroyer breaks my engines no surprise there then So do I risk reversing to try and get a final shot onto the enemy destroyer? Let's take a look and see what we can find. Not looking good now though, because we've lost Des Moines and Iwami is looking for a um, a blind side of the island position there. Also I've been hide growth which leaves me vulnerable now I need to try and track outside of the cap and hide behind this island in front of me. No such luck though. Uh, Zhu, uh, Zhao has maneuvered well and takes me down. Okay guys I hope that gave you a good illustration of what um, Felix Shaw's potentially is good at but as I say, it's very limited, it's very um, specific to scenarios, uh, what F Felix Schultz is good at. My own experience in the Schultz is it's not enjoyable. Uh, I'm not liking it <laughs> at all going through the grind, but I'm looking to complete videos for all of the German DD, so I have to go through the grind so that I can get the LB. So uh, let's jump ahead to the final scores because I don't think we're gonna see Iwami recovered a game for us. But in summary, poor rudder shift, poor
poor turning circle. Cannot contest caps against other destroyers. Cannot engage in a one-on-one -on -one firefight against another destroyer without assistance from uh, other ships. Um, can be very successful if you get a lightly armoured cruiser full broadside at short range. Uh, and actually at some distance up to 10k uh, it will work as well. The strange turret arrangement means it's very difficult to get a bow in or uh, stern in position in terms of, of firing so you don't have your typical um, Alpha Yankee Zulu set up for, uh, for your turrets uh, which is typical of the Germans so you almost have to get full broadside every time you do want to use your guns. You do have two racks of torpedoes but they're incredibly slow as I mentioned before so it's always difficult to hit something and no hydro. So Felix Schultz is almost an anti-German German, German destroyer because everything that makes German destroyers good, Schultz doesn't have. Okay, let's jump quickly to the final scores then. There we have it then, 40,100 scored in terms of damage and six citadels enabled us to register three sinkings to our credit and six defended. Now, for me, somewhat surprisingly, we managed to fi finish second highest in this particular battle for our team scores, but well done to Des Moines, who put in a good game. Okay, that's it, folks. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this video as another one in the series of the German DDs. Thank you for viewing, and hope to see you all again for the Elbing video. Take care, all. Bye-bye.